doing it to help them defend themselves. Your, your number one move should be protect your border, not Ukraine. If, if you're saying let's worry about Ukraine, maybe it's number nine on the list. If so <laughs> this is going to take a very funny turn and there was no way I was not going to cover this, okay? Um, PBD is cooking. Patrick Bet David is cooking. It ain't number one above the border. That, that is the most ludicrous argument I would ever make. Well, let me ask we you this. But <laughs> as he's going off about Ukraine and everything, he's losing his mind on uh, Pierce Morgan and everything. Pierce Morgan sits there quietly, calmly, and looking into the camera. And I'm like, uh, I feel like he's up to something. He's not worked up. He's not yelling. But let's see what he delivers. I'm sorry, y'all. This is just like hilarious. Take care of okay. America well, let me first, ask you this. Then we take care of everybody Why else. Why should America be supporting Israel then? That's thousands of miles away. Face drop. Face drop. Before we even get there, look. look. <laughs> I can't believe Patrick Bad David put himself through. Like, I can't believe that he... He even got scared. And this is the look of somebody who's nervous, okay? Listen, I still have a lot of respect for Patrick Bad David. He definitely has worked his butt off to, you know, become the man that he is. Um, he's all about, you know, the, that uh, the future is bright. I love his message. I do. I respect everything that he does. I know I'm, like, glazing a mad heart, right? Like, no. But at the same time, <laughs> like, you know, <laughs> I'm starting to think Ben Shapiro gave you a phone call after you said the Daily Jewish Riot. I don't know. I might be wrong, right? So let's see how he answers this. But before we do, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you always for watching. I will start off with the thank you for watching, guys. Please don't forget to like the video. And if you're new here, you like the kind of conversation that we're having or listening to the commentary, please subscribe to the channel. Um, and don't forget to hit your notification bell. I'm very grateful for everybody who watches. I really enjoy making these videos and we just want to get this balanced conversation out to as many people as possible, especially in a time where our country is really, uh, hanging on a thin line, a thin wire and, uh, a thin string, if you will. Like, and that question that Pierce Morgan just asked Patrick Red David is a good question. So let's see what he says. His face is, uh, <laughs> How much money are we giving to Israel? Okay, so yeah, like I know you got scared. Okay. Billions. How much money are we giving Israel? I'm curious. Go ahead. I'm curious. Go ahead. Oh, wait, are we sending troops over there? Are we sending missiles over there? No, but how you much are, money are we giving to America Israel? America does spend. Dome we've given it since 1945. America has, America I think $10 spent, we've given to them. $3 billion is towards the dome. Yeah. How much money are we giving them? Okay. Billions oh, of dollars. You can't do that. All right. We're just going to take a quick pause from the video and just to come over here real quick and just answer the question because um, Patrick Bad Davis, we gave him, what, two, $10 billion, um, you know, since 1948, we gave him $10 billion, and now we give him $3.4 a year. That's like trying to make it seem like that's it. So I just wanted to get the answer, um, you know, because if we're going to have the discussion, right, listen. You could say you want to fund Israel. That's fine. I don't care about that. Don't gaslight me and tell me, so, tell me some 10 billion accumulative dollars. Like, no, this is as of February 20, 2022, not even as of right now, but um, it was, since its inception, Israel is the largest cumulative recipient of U, U, U.S. foreign aid up to um, February 2022, $150 billion and not even adjusted for inflation. So it's really more than that, right? So he, yeah, we're not, don't, don't do me like that, Pat. Don't do me like that. Don't give me the, you know what I mean? Again, you could want to fund Israel, that's fine. And then to say, do we give them weapons? Yes, we've been sending them weapons. We've been sending them weapons right now in this current situation. Again, if you're fine with that, that's cool, right? But you can't, you know, lie and act like we're not doing it oh we don't have troops in israel actually no we do but they're more like they're more like uh administrative troops right supposedly um working like it and stuff like that we have them in ukraine too you know it's okay right don't lie about it say that you feel like they're our ally and that you you're perfectly fine doing that not not comparable to what we've given to ukraine in 12 months mm -hmm. 24 months? No, no the, way. Isn't the principle, not even close. Isn't the principle... That, that is an absolute... We just talked about it anyway. We're not going to go over the same thing. So that's the problem. Like, yo, man, what's going on? Oh, man. 
When he asked him that question, he really backed them into a corner. I'm starting to look at him kind of weird now. I'm like, come on now. Same. You're doing it to help them defend themselves. No, it's not. The, the part with Israel is, is strikely, strikely different because it's both strategic because there's only one country in Israel that has historically always been pro-America and has been an ally. He's so nervous that he meant to say <laughs> there's only one country in the Middle East, which is Israel, that has been so pro-America and America's strongest ally. I'm not going to get into the details of that, but that's what he meant to say. In, in the Middle East, in the Middle that's East. Israel. Mm. Iran's not been the case since the Shah, right? Saudi Arabia now with MBS, he's trying to work and make progress to the point where Ronaldo, your friend, feels safe going out there with his mm. family to play soccer there. These are good things that MBS and Saudi Arabia is doing. He's kind of doing what the Shah was doing back in the 50s, 60s, 70s. I like what he's doing with Saudi Arabia. But Israel, to us, a part of it is also loyalty due, due to our faith, where we need that country especially what America was founded on, Judeo-Christian, that's a little bit deeper than that. Okay, we- sorry, guys, I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't know that he added that, but I'm, I must. I didn't watch the whole clip or something before. <laughs> um, don't do that. Um, I'm not going to get into to details, you know, but uh, we can't fund these wars. We can't fund any wars o- across the world. It's, enough is enough, okay? America's struggling. Um, there's inflation through the roof. Our borders are wide open. And then this guy brings up our faith. No, your Christianity is certainly not my Christianity and it's not Tom's Christianity. You understand me? So we can't keep doing this. I personally am not one who says Judeo-Christian. And I have to be careful because I don't say Islamo-Christian. I just say Christian and then Judaism, right? And I actually worship on Saturdays and I don't want to get any more (laughs) deeper into this conversation, but I'm just saying that, you know, we're not all monoliths here. So I can understand you said that they're ally, you know, to tell us like when um, the terror attacks are coming, because I'm told that like Israel is like the place to let us know, you know, they're strategically placed and to let us know like, yo, man, they're about to get you like, you know, uh, with this terror strike, you know, 9-11, things like that or whatever. Like, so, okay, I can get that. Right. But don't bring faith into it. Like, don't do that. America does not run like that. Any right, like, let's stop. Okay. I'm in a country where kids are destroying themselves. Okay. And this is not that show, but don't lie to me like that. That really irritated me. It did. I, you don't got to do all that. Okay. Calm down. Ben Shapiro's not going to come get you. <laughs> I, I still like Patrick Ben David. I still do. But Pierce did pretty good, and he's still sitting there looking at him like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ukraine, the guy's an opportunistic guy. Respect to him that's coming up to America, making everybody feel guilty and raising money. I salute him for being a great beggar and a great fun. You're no. Yeah, so, um, and that tan got to go, too. Like, because now I'm just over it. <laughs> like, it is what it is. No, still, mad, mad respect to Patrick Bad David. Like, mad respect. You know, he caught him off guard. You got to be ready with those kind of answers because it doesn't make sense. And I understand why he asked him that question, right? Let's just say we were talking about country A and country B. If you tell me you don't have $5 for country A, I don't understand how you have it for country B. And he doesn't understand either. That's why he was sitting there walking on his tongue the rest of the one minute and a half that we watched of this clip. Thank you guys for watching.